Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena and today we are reviewing the Motorola Defy Mini. What's cool about the smartphone is that it is resistant to dust and water damage and its display is made using Gorilla Glass so it should be able to withstand everyday wear and tear. Other than that, it's just a basic entry-level Android smartphone, it comes with a 3.2 inch display, there's a single core 600 MHz processor inside it and the camera on its back is a 3.2 megapixel one with the LED flash and fixed focus. The smartphone is made mostly out of plastic, so there's pretty much nothing premium about it. But on the other hand, it feels uh, tough and well made, just like a rugged device should. Its size and dimensions are nothing out of the ordinary for its class, neither is its weight, uh, but we like how it feels in the hand. Our thumb can easily reach every corner of its screen, so using it with a single hand is a piece of cake. However, we have to say that we're not too happy with the plastic cover that protects its uh, micro USB port. Taking it off requires a lot of effort and then putting it back on tightly is really tricky. Also, the smartphone's physical buttons, namely the lock key, the two button volume rocker and the camera shutter key provide far less tactile feedback than a smartphone key should. We have to admit that the 3.2 inch display on the Motorola Define Mini has a pretty good color reproduction and viewing angles even though it's uh, just a plain TFT LCD panel. It has a resolution of 320 by 480 pixels, uh, so it's uh, pretty okay for a device of this class. We have to warn you, however, that its uh, outdoor visibility is uh, somewhat poor because of all the light that the surface of its screen reflects. The Motorola Define Mini runs Android 2.3.6 Gingerbread with the Moto Switch UI installed on top. There's nothing fancy about it, but we like the several handy features that have been thrown in. For example, you get a lock screen widget, which uh, you can use to launch the camera from, or there's also a toggle switch, which can turn the vibration on or off. There's also a widget, which uh, aggregates your most frequently used applications uh, in one place, and there's another widget, which does the same thing with your contacts. The on-screen virtual keyboard is uh, pretty difficult to use comfortably in portrait mode, so you better get used to tilting the device sideways when typing those emails. There is a swipe pre-installed, which helps to some extent, but still, typing text messages requires a lot of practice and patience. There's an application called Dashboard that comes preloaded on the Motorola Define Mini. Think of it as a tool for the sporty smartphone user. It comes with a chronometer, a pedometer and a tool that can calculate how many calories you've burned during your exercise. Also with a little help from the handset's GPS radio, the app can tell you how many kilometers you've traveled while hiking or jogging. The Motorola Define Mini comes with a 600MHz processor and a 512MB of RAM, which is a really basic hardware configuration, but thankfully it's just good enough to get the job done, so basic applications work uh, well and navigating through the interface is responsive enough, as long as you don't use too many on-screen widgets and uh, don't uh, use uh, live wallpaper or anything like that. However, the lack of processing power becomes uh, evident when you try to run a heavier application. For example, browsing through the Google Play Store gets a choppy from time to time and uh, games such as Angry Birds Space or Temple Run uh, also drop some uh, frames uh, every once in a while. The stock internet browser on the Motorola Define Mini is pretty usable considering the phone's low-end hardware. Pages load fast enough and scrolling is sufficiently smooth as long as you let the page load completely. It even supports Adobe Flash which uh, you can download manually from the Google Play Store, but we don't really recommend getting it because uh, it takes a heavy toll on the browser's performance. Photos taken with the smartphone's 3.2 megapixel camera look mediocre at best and even worse in low light conditions. They lack fine detail and the shutter lag of about one second is pretty annoying. The smartphone can shoot VJ video as well, but its quality is way below average. We were very content with the Music Plus audio player that comes pre-installed on the Motorola Define Mini. It has a whole bunch of neat features such as sound hunt integration and preloaded shoutcast online radios. Also, it automatically downloads the album art and lyrics of the songs that is currently playing, which we think is uh, pretty neat. We are pretty happy with the nice sounding earpiece on the Motorola Define Mini. The voice tones that it reproduces are loud and clear without any hints of digitizing, so we can easily hear what the other party is saying. On the other side of the line, however, we noticed a weird volume fluctuation on several occasions. 
The smartphone comes with a 1650 mAh battery which is rated for 10 hours of talk time and that is a really good figure by today's standards. The 3 weeks of uh, standby time are also a commendable figure. Even though it's an ok entry level Android smartphone, we think that the Motorola Defy Mini is not the best option out there, or at least not for now. That's because it currently retails for about $250, which we think is pretty unjustified considering what you get in exchange. For that amount of cash it would be wiser to get the Sony Ericsson Xperia Active or Samsung Galaxy X cover, since uh, both of them are resistant to water and dust but come with better hardware specs. Or if you don't necessarily need a smartphone that is resistant to water, you can consider getting the Sony Ericsson Xperia Mini. It costs about the same as the Motorola Defy Mini but uh, comes with better hardware inside it. Thank you for watching our Motorola Defy Mini review, this is Nick and if you'd like to check out any of our other smartphone reviews just visit our website phonearena.com.